Discover the healing power of nature. Unearth the joy and tranquility gardening can bring to your life. Picture yourself surrounded by vibrant blossoms, your hands caressing the cool soil, your senses awakened by the scent of fresh earth and blooming flowers. This isn't just about cultivating plants, it's about cultivating a healthier, happier you. We'll explore how gardening can boost your mental health, promote mindfulness, and connect you to the world around you. Join us as we delve into the therapeutic benefits of digging in the dirt. Gardening is more than just a hobby, it's a pathway to mental tranquility. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, we often forget the calming effect of simply being in nature, of getting our hands dirty and nurturing life from the ground up. Gardening can be a therapeutic journey, a way to alleviate stress, improve mood, and enhance mental clarity. It's not just about growing plants, but about growing ourselves, cultivating our minds and blossoming in sync with nature. When you're planting seeds, you're not just cultivating a garden, but also sowing seeds of peace in your mind. But don't just take our word for it. Numerous studies back this up. Researchers at Princeton University, for instance, found that gardening can reduce feelings of depression by a significant margin. In another study, experts at the University of Pennsylvania discovered that regular gardening can help improve memory and cognitive function. These studies highlight how gardening can be an effective tool in managing mental health. Experts believe that the act of nurturing plants, the physical activity involved, and the sensory experience of being in a garden can have a profound therapeutic effect. So, whether it's the vibrant colors of blooming flowers, the fresh scent of soil, or the rhythmic pattern of digging and planting, every aspect of gardening can contribute to your mental well-being. Science has revealed the profound impact gardening can have on our mental health. Gardening is not just about the plants, it's about being present in the moment. When we engage in gardening, we are invited to truly live in the here and now. As we feel the cool soil between our fingers, listen to the rustling leaves and smell the earthy fragrance, we are practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is the act of paying attention in a particular way, on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. It's about noticing the details, the texture of a leaf, the color of a flower, the sensation of the earth beneath your feet. So, how do you practice mindful gardening? Start by focusing on one task at a time. If you're planting, concentrate on each seed as you place it in the ground. If you're watering, pay attention to the way the water nourishes the plants. Let go of any distractions and allow yourself to become fully immersed in the experience. Mindful gardening allows us to slow down and appreciate the beauty of nature in its simplest form. Every leaf, every flower invites us to be present and mindful. Gardening is not just good for your mind, but also for your body. Yes. You heard it right. When you're out there tending to your plants, you're also giving your body a well-rounded workout. It's a low-impact, moderate-intensity exercise that keeps your heart rate up without putting too much strain on your body. Gardening tasks like digging, planting, weeding, and watering are great ways to engage different muscle groups. It's like having your own natural gym right in your backyard. You stretch, you lift, you squat, all the good stuff without the pricey gym membership. And let's not forget about the sunlight. When you garden, you're also soaking up the sun which is a natural source of vitamin D. This essential nutrient helps our bodies absorb calcium, promoting bone health and supporting our immune system. So next time you're working in your garden, remember you're doing more than just growing plants. You're cultivating a healthier you. Soak in the sunshine, work those muscles and let gardening be your natural gym. We are part of nature, and nature is part of us. This profound truth is at the heart of a concept known as biophilia, the innate human attraction to life and living systems. It's a deep-seated love for the natural world that echoes in every cell of our bodies, a call of the wild that resonates within our very DNA. Gardening is one way we can answer this call. With each seed we plant, each leaf we nurture, we reaffirm our connection to the circle of life. As we tend to our gardens, we're not just cultivating plants, we're also cultivating a relationship with nature. We're re-establishing an ancient bond, a bond as old as humanity itself. Gardening allows us to feel the pulse of the earth, to understand the rhythms of the seasons, to appreciate the intricate web of life that we are part of. It is a celebration of life, a homage to the beauty and resilience of nature. Through gardening, we nurture our bond with the nature that nurtures us. Gardening is an act of community, a shared passion that brings people together. Picture this. A vibrant patchwork of green spaces, brimming with a kaleidoscope of flowers, fruits and vegetables, cultivated by the loving hands of a diverse group of people. These are community gardens, 
a melting pot of shared knowledge, experiences, and cultures. Community gardening is not just about growing plants, it's about nurturing relationships. It's about the joy of witnessing the fruits of collective labor, the satisfaction of sharing a freshly harvested meal, the camaraderie and tending to the earth together. Through gardening, we learn to help each other, to share, to listen, and to celebrate our collective victories. It's a place where friendships bloom as readily as the flowers, where connections are as deep as the roots we plant. In community gardens we grow more than plants, we grow connections and friendships. Embrace community gardening and you'll find that while you're planting seeds in the soil, you're also sowing seeds of community spirit. Many have found solace in the garden. Here are their stories. In the heart of New York, we have Jane. A corporate executive turned urban gardener, Jane transformed her rooftop into an oasis of greenery. The hustle and bustle of city life melted away as she nurtured her plants and in turn, they nurtured her. Her depression lifted, replaced by a newfound sense of purpose and connection to the world around her. Then there's Sam, a veteran from Texas. He found peace not in the silence of his home, but in the symphony of his garden. The rhythmic tasks of watering, pruning and planting eased his post-traumatic stress disorder, providing a soothing alternative to traditional therapy. Through gardening Sam discovered a safe space, a place where he could heal and grow. In California a group of seniors found joy in community gardening. Their shared garden became a place of friendship and laughter, a remedy to loneliness. They shared not just vegetables and flowers but stories and life experiences, creating a bond that enriched their golden years. And finally, we have Lisa, a teenager from London. Struggling with anxiety, she found solace in her small balcony garden. The act of caring for her plants gave her a sense of control, reducing her worries and grounding her in the present moment. These stories highlight the transformative power of gardening. Ready to start your gardening adventure? Here's how. Gardening is a rewarding journey, and like every journey, it begins with a single step. Your first step into the world of gardening is choosing the right plants. Consider the climate and the amount of sunlight your garden receives. For beginners, opt for hardy plants like marigolds or sunflowers that are easy to grow and maintain. Next let's talk about creating a nurturing garden space. The key is to start small. A few pots on a balcony or a small patch in your backyard is all you need. Remember the goal is to enjoy the process, not to create a botanical garden overnight. Invest in essential tools such as a good pair of gardening gloves, a trowel, a watering can, and a sturdy rake. These tools will come in handy as you dig, plant, and nurture your garden. Lastly, be patient. Gardening is a test of patience and perseverance. It may take time for your garden to flourish but the joy you'll find in watching a seed sprout into a plant is unparalleled. Gardening is not just about growing plants, it's about growing with them. It's about feeling the soil beneath your fingers, basking in the sunshine and finding joy in the simple act of nurturing life. With these tips you're ready to embark on your gardening adventure.